Thank you so much, sir. Moving on, we are very honored to have the presence of Dr. Rasul Badran. He is the founding partner of Dao, Daryl Amran, and its branches and, uh, in the Arab world till now. He is recognized in the Middle East as the reference encyclopedia of modern Islamic architecture. His magnificent achievements are very much evident throughout the Middle East and are very well recognized worldwide. I will request his presence on the stage. Please, sir. First of all, I thank you for giving me the chance to be with you in this uh, very uh, and celebrative occasion, especially when I see old friends uh, where we met maybe 10 years back or 12 years back and then we meeting again. So really I'm happy that for, for to, be, to share with you this uh, event and uh, I hope that uh, I will not uh, speak too much sometimes I forgot myself so I tried to put myself within half an hour presenting my, my, my uh, lecture uh, I call it um, continuous dialogue because we are living every day we are living a new uh, evidence of our crisis which we have uh, which we have to face it in, through our uh, uh, ideologies through our thinking through our contribution to man-built environment and I think the man-built environment it reflects our, uh, our, our socio-political and environmental crisis. So uh, we have maybe to think in, in the other way. We have to be influential, not to be reflection of what's going on. This is what I am trying to, to achieve. That's why sometimes we have difficulty in how we can convince our client and not to, to, to be as, as, a, as those who are follow the client's wish. We have to give them uh, let's say, a more wishful uh, vision about, about, about how, we look, how we look to the urbanity, how we look to the uh, uh, living space or, or place making, or I, I call it uh, a creating place, not place making, to create a place. Uh, so I, I will start uh, showing you, first of all, how I can, how I try to learn from the uh, technology which we which is available about the Google about about Earth, uh, Google how we can learn from from these images which are you can see it in your mobile uh, the behavior of cities uh, and instead of let's say uh, read a history of, of urbanity you can even learn from just the visual what's going on on, on, on the cities in, in all its different different, different uh, categories uh, uh, so how I can now change the Yeah, this one. So, which is falling. Okay. Now, I want to show you, because before I start, I want to show you this background. This background, I draw it sometimes in my free time, just to look what's going on. Uh, that's why I, 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 I saw I, I, I um, give the title of this lecture to observe things and how from this observation you can you can uh, learn new lessons about 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 everything in all aspects in all levels. So uh, in one of my flights, I always fly from 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 Jordan to the to the to the other countries. I was shooting this image which I liked very much in one place, in one spot, in one of the countries, and then after maybe half an hour, I took this another uh, image. This are uh, from the airplane number 10 kilometers km, 10 km high. So it's uh, uh, the first one showing you the river, the sand river, or the water river in, in the southern Jordan Valley. The other one showing you the, the uh, sandy or the uh, earth uh, sandy berms bam, in Saudi Arabia. So I want just to create a dialogue between them, uh, getting dialogue between between the motion and, and the movement and the dynamic and then the static, the still. So I just, these are the houses and these are the roads. And just I want just to, and I overlook them over each other, and suddenly uh, I reach the title of my lecture. I mean this image. So some people ask me why we don't build cities in the desert of that typology because these are very, very ecological, very self-protective, 
but it was just an idea. I don't want to. But I think this idea has also influenced my work. Or before I get to this exercise, I do it by by feeling how we can feel uh, when you are facing uh, a task to to design a city or design a, a neighbor. So I will start showing you maybe one of the yeah okay. These are some of the collective vision about how I look to the different typology about the coastal line, about the desert, about the vegetation, about cities, how, how the city can, can tell you about the history of the city. This is the ancient city in Morocco, and then this is the modern city, and these are the mixture between between the different different styles. Maybe Hausmann did that, or, or Doxiades did similar. I have some, some of the observation about this great city, or this uh, uh, clustered city. Uh, I, I care about, about how we can combine the the vehicle, uh, uh, let's say, powerful roads with, with the pedestrian, how we can make this kind of, how we can humanize the mechanism of cities and, and let the pedestrian live with this technology by giving, giving them both the same environment. So this is actually what I'm asking us. I mean, this is the, also I think from, from, from one of my trips, it's a village in the Sahara. I like the the the, uh, the tissue. I mean, it, it's there, there's a there's a it gives you a, a notion that there's communication between these uh, angles, and, and uh, you discover the the, uh, the hidden corners, like what you see here. Also. So both are are the same typology, the same uh, morphology uh, of creating this kind of tissue. Suddenly, I mean. Sadly, we are living in such cities, I mean, like, like aeroplanes. I mean, as if I was talking about the highways which take separate the city, separate the city in, in parcels, these highways are similar to the, to the air highways. I mean, so it's a shame that, that we are designing such cities. I mean, when you just look to this image, you get scared. So I am living in, in such kind of domain. I mean, it's a, a culture. It doesn't respect the human feeling or perception. So I, I show you some of the work which we did in Malaysia with one of my friends, Dr. Haim from Egypt. Uh, we've been asked to um, uh, to review a concept of of, a, of, a, of the Islamic uh, International University in Kuala Lumpur. The first was based on a linear, uh, it's about one half kilometer long linear uh, uh, development in a very sensitive and very uh, dynamic. Um, mountainous culture. So this was actually our, you can find in the Google. So as if you are creating here a story of places where people can, can have different activities instead of having this kind of linearity or this linear concept, which was uh, shown in the lower. Here you can see the left lower. This was, this was the original concept and then we tried to, to, uh, um, to, let's say, to break it in different, different uh, uh, discovery, uh, to, to attack people to work in this kind of long uh, position. So, so these are the sketches which, which uh, end up by the uh, concept which we just, we give the urban concept, we didn't, went, we didn't go further in the, in the details, but we give them this, this kind of guideline. Um, again, when we look to the to our cities, here we have in Tehran. The, the, uh, these are new uh, development done in the time of the Shah. Um, look to the houses, look to the to the to the solid and void, and this is Damascus. So when when you try to uh, uh, to symbolize the, the morphology of such development, you will you will see it in this way. The upper part is the one in Tehran, the lower part is Damascus. Here you, there's no story. You, you just look to this linear form, so you skip it and you go to the lower one, because the lower one tell you a lot of secrets, a lot of questions. And this, I mean, the way of how you can approach cities, I mean, questions, uh, disco discovering the hidden, or let's say, to make it more and more lifeful. Uh, I mean, in Cairo, I mean, look what happens. I mean, uh, 
It's a container city. I mean, is it true that you are living in such cities? I mean, so imagine that you are you are uh, you are here creating or developing a whole social structure in this uh, container. What kind of people will, will be? I mean, the outcome of it. I mean, the behavior, people behavior, it will be very very hostile. Very uh, uh, don't, they don't care about the environment. It will come like like like. Thing is not human. I mean, this is what, what actually we are suffering in our cities, even today. So I want to show you. I mean, according to this kind of observation uh, uh, moment, show you how I could understand what the meaning of the city or or, or, or a neighborhood or, or creating a, um, a let's say community. Uh, I will start with a very important. Uh, Competition, which was in downtown Cairo, this was an international competition, and um, um, it's in that where you see these three top three towers. Behind it, there's a informal housing, uh, and they want to uh, change it to something more prestigious, more. Uh, so, in one of my trips in Cairo, I I I, I like this image. I found this is much more developed than, than the modern approaches in, in urbanity. These are the informal housing. In, in, uh, some of the in, informal houses in, around the uh, surrounding Cairo. Uh, and these are the plans of it. So the plan may look more static, but the elevation look more and more, more uh, lifeful. There's a story in, in this uh, cluster. So I tried to, to uh, interfere in, 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 in this um, fabric uh, network to create some kind of a places where people can, can gather, can create some kind of a, uh, unplanned activities. Uh, and and uh, e even those who, who own uh, this, uh, let's say, the management, they like the idea to, to think about this kind of, of, of uh, narrative. And then I start to you know, uh, uh, if I want to uh, develop the existing uh, informal housing concept, how I can make it much more contemporary, much more, uh, I don't want to say modern, but it, it has a sense, it has more, more life. So these are sketches done before I went in this competition, because I like the idea of having a skeleton in concrete and then fill it with, with a red brick, and then you can uh, create an art of opening. Uh, and this become endless. I mean, you can get a lot of possibilities. So I took this model as base of, of our, our, our proposal, which was totally refused because they want something, you know, like um, glass block uh, towers, and, and uh, which you see it in, in our region in the, in the, in the, in the Arabic, uh, in most of our Arabic cities. So this, I, I like the, the let's say the the. Um, um, the integrity, I mean, all are equal. There's nothing, nothing here shown that I am rich and you, you, are, you are the poor man. So they feel in peace with, uh, with themselves. You try to break, um, there's no uh, conflict between rich, powerful, and, and the poor that they neglected. This will create uh, violence in our, in, our, in our society. So I, try, I was trying to, uh, to submit an ethical model in Cairo. And it was refused because they, they, they thought that I am, I am not following the image of what a new camera should like, look like. Look, I mean, I found this much more, much more in harmony than, than this modern uh, uh, approach or let's say attempt to, to build the city. You can create out of this concept a lot of miracles. I mean, you can create a fantastic. Uh, uh, let's say environment, very dynamic. So I start working in this uh, skeleton now. How, how we can fit in different, 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 uh, different, uh, let's say, uh, uh, yeah. approaches. I mean, uh, how you make this skin life for you. And in the same time, we try, we, I try parallelly to, to, uh, to create, um, uh, let's say, this is what they call public zone between between the rich people and the poor, how they can meet together to make, to make this area uh, a 
I could need all kind of social level, no? To to uh, designate uh, rich uh, for the rich guy uh, group a certain place, and then the poor are living somewhere else. We want to put them all together because these poor, poor people are serving these rich people. So the why they don't be their neighbors through having a common space, common. Uh, uh, public space or like artery where people can, can get together, they can buy from, from their goods. Uh, and I found this, these sketches are the worry of not just to make grants and that's it. I mean, to, to make, uh, um, to divide land in, 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 in parcels. So the winning project was the one in the left from Forster and our was neglected. It was, it was, uh, uh, I mean, not approved. They want to have something more, more, more linear, more, more uh, disciplined. Here, there's more chaotic. But from this chaos, I can create uh, a lot of uh, endless, uh, uh, endless, I call it, um, non-defined, uh, let's say, clear edge. It can be all created within within the fabric. So I went in that in that quarter and, and I, lived, I spent one day with them. It's so peaceful that we, when you go to this uh, informal settlement. So after we lost the competition, I tried to develop some of the features, how we can make use of this kind of concept, to have this concrete, uh, uh, and with the Bashrabiya, with, with the... And it, it was required in this uh, proposal uh, to have a tower, I mean, like an iconic. Uh, so I was trying to, to uh, uh, apply from, from, from the Bijan Tower, which is part of the, the rural uh, culture in, in Cairo, how we can apply for, uh, for it something which can be significant for. Uh, and here, it's good to look to these towers where you can create also an air uh, tent so they can get a gift and then these towers are for the rich people. But it, it, it's a pigeon tower, it's not, not, a, not a, a tower which we see in some big country uh, cities in our region. Mm -hmm. So in the roof of this development you see the, the, uh, the uh, residence area for, for the less rich or the poorer one with their pigeon tower because they, they live they, they, uh, they can create their, their uh, fertilizer from these pigeon uh, lands and this is part of their, their industry. Uh, and here, this was the Foster's uh, uh, approach. I mean, so it's totally different. And still, this was one of our, uh, how we can create out of this uh, approach something which can, which can, when you see these towers, pigeon towers, as part of each Cairo corners, I mean, not for the whole city. And here we show how these public spaces can become more active because people used to, to use the public space for, for, their, for their gardening, for, for multi-use multi uh, uh, activities. Another work which we did in, uh, in Yemen, I think this was published in my book many times, uh, how, how we understand the language of, of, uh, of a city which, which is based on, on, a, on a rural culture. So here we try to show you the, uh, uh, how we create from, from a certain area a small city where you find a hotel, an office, housing, and, and all kinds of mixed use so the people living in the micro cities within city itself. This gives also some kind of, 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 a, of a life uh, uh, experience. And then again we submit also another work, but it was all refused. They want something more modern, more, more uh, like in all of our modern cities' uh, uh, vision. We took reference from 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 Hadramaut. It, it, uh, it was awarded the African Award, where you see the uh, the cluster or the morphology uh, is in harmony with the, with the ecology, with with the, with the climatic and. Uh, and created also a very present public space for, for public domains, uh, the public domains, which I found very, very cool and very, very pleasant. We 
it is something in Karachi, maybe two days back, uh, the investor in Dubai uh, want to do something in Karachi. He want to uh, propose, uh, uh, this is the, uh, where is the point of view? There's no point of view. Ah, yeah, this one. Yeah, this is actually the piece of land. It's a quiet thing between the slums area, very, very poor area, and then the more official governmental and, and high, high end. So we found this, uh, this site very important because how we can create between two different, uh, uh, two different uh, uh, social uh, group, uh, let's say, doing some kind of a, of a, of a, of a um, place where people can meet together, they can, they can, they can. So, I start um, looking to the, how people are crossing from, from, from the slums area to the, to the more official area, because they are serving this uh, official part in, in, the, in, the, in the right side, and right, right hand side. So, this movement uh, helped me in, in, uh, in defining the, the morphology of the whole development where well, you see it in, in the bottom right side bottom of, the, of these images. And it becomes more and more, uh, more uh, organic. And when you see it from far, you can't even hardly recognize it on, on the plan of the city. This is what I found very interesting. It disappeared. It was approved, actually, but, uh, the, uh, um, but I think after after the, the uh, economic crisis in 2009-10, everything stopped. So he couldn't proceed because he liked to to, uh, to start, you know. So this actually this the plan of it, and from far away we can hardly find it. It's not a, this harsh red system. This appeared in, in the in the in the in the, in the, in the city uh, fabric. Yeah. Usually, if you, go, if you do, do it in grid system, you can easily find it. But when it's, it's like, like a part of this kind of uh, a disappearance of, 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 the, of the mass. So these are offices, uh, dwellings, uh, apartments, and hotels. Now, another work which I found uh, uh, very important. It was it was uh, uh, nominated nominated for the African Award, but I, I I stopped it because we are changing it now. We will leave it for the coming cycle. Uh, this work has has put a lot of uh, let's say response in the, in the Saudi uh, scale. Uh, it, it's it's um, it has to do with with a, a place which has to be developed. Uh, in front of a UNESCO uh, uh, World Heritage Site, uh, it's a mud city where the uh, Saudi family have been born there. And we've been asked to develop the area, in, uh, the, uh, the, the whole lot in front of it. So we try to, uh, to create some kind of a, of a this is a very uh, contextual approach because uh, it contains a lot of um, uh, uh, let's say inter entertainment uh, facilities, shops, uh, handcrafts, just in, 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 in an old uh, mud city, but it, it had disappeared. So we tried to trace the plan of it and then to, to find a, a way, a dialogue between, between this reserved uh, useful site, how we can learn from it and try to get some kind of another city, uh, or a city city, or a rural city, and end up by a center which, which, they, which they call it al Wahhabi Sheikh al Wahhabi Center for, for Islamic study. But uh, the, the reason why I, 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 don't, I haven't submitted for the Akhan for the final judgment because the, the, the building has changed to, to, be, to be the Ministry of Culture. So I find very important that this become a Ministry of Culture, not, not a religious, uh, let's say, uh, uh, block. And because it was a huge uh, building, I, I, I pressed in the ground. So I, I, I put it in the ground, and you can, you can even walk in the roof of it and watch the, the, the old city. So it becomes like a theater, like an arena, where you, people can sit at night, they can photograph it, they can, they can watch the, the old city. And this was the reason why this is actually uh, 
So uh, it disappeared. It looks like like a poor city. I mean, and uh, because of that, many people came, thousands of people came. It has created a lot of problems in Pakistan. And the uh, the uh, the king decided to create another city adjacent to that that uh, to that development. I'm sure to you. So this is the real city. This was an international, or let's say, invitation to create a city facing and uh, uh, approaching the, uh, or let's say, in, in, the, in the boundary of, of this area uh, or this uh, uh, city. And uh, when we study the ecology of it, it it's, a, it's a like a wadi, what you call it. Uh, so I tried to uh, uh, make a story and this is what, what I, I mentioned today. I don't want to manufacture a city, I want to build up a city. First of all, we thought that the best way is to, to, to create here, not to create uh, a, green, a green spine, where this green spine becomes become the first place where people can, uh, on Friday, move from uh, the real city, which is very dense, and to enjoy the, the nature of this ecology. So this become actually like as if we are creating a DNA for that place. In, in five years' time, this become a main part, and then around this part you start building the city. Not just, I mean, uh, and the decision maker, decision maker, they don't like, they, they dislike the idea because they want to make something a big surprise for Saudi 2030. I told them, no, it, it, I mean, you are repeating the same phenomena, the same, the same failure which, which happened in most of this, in that region. Uh, and now, okay, the, the whole thing was not, I mean, there were some problems in, in the, in the, in the, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the whole system, but this is actually the idea of how we can create a value, and then this value will feed the other values. So it become part of, as if the, there's no city, there's a value. Uh, so you hardly can see the city, I mean, to, to, to maintain the, Serenity of that type. So you feel that that you are you are respecting the God uh, create uh, creation by by creating something which complements this creation and not uh, competing against it. So this actually was our approach. How we start looking at the green as as a concept. Next for five years, people can go there and can can enjoy with their kids, and then and then you start building the city step by step. Increments. So this was uh, again we show it in, in, in different different, uh, but nothing happened now. I don't know how, how it will end up. Another work which we did uh, in maybe in 2004, it's the development of a big wadi in Morocco between uh, the capital, uh, Arribat, and, and uh, these are two cities. It's about 20 kilometer long uh, valley. They asked, first of all, uh, 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 the American, very well known American architect, uh, who was the father of the postmodernism. Uh, um, I remember the letter. So he proposed something that doesn't work. So they asked us to do something which could become more related to the ecology of uh, the whole site. So um, here, I'll show you the start of this river, which ends up by, by, by the mountain uh, terrain. So this I'll show you with just the, the nature of, 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 that, of that development. And then we start making a matrix, creating a matrix story to identify the building, uh, the, the development on, on the coastal line, and then in the, in, the, in the land side, and then in the mountainous. And out of it, you, you, you find out that a, there will be a typology uh, uh, responding to the nature of the ecology of, the, of that side. And we, we create some kind of, of, a, of, a, of a, this is the valley, or the valley with all these different, different, different uh, stages, starting with the, with the Bab Medina one, the Medina Gate, and then uh, you, you move to the uh, al Medan or the Saha, or the Plaza, and then 
uh, a password or a dependence, a password where you, you can, you can create uh, you can, um, something to, to activate the whole uh, 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 region by creating university or some kind of academic or some, some of that kind. Uh, and then to go to the vegetation, uh, which is part of this heritage in, in, that, in that region. Now, newly we are working in a very important city in, in, uh, in the Emirates, uh, it's between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, first of all, the plan was, was uh, uh, provided by, by, prepared by, by a very well known, uh, I think, American town planners who they, they uh, proposed, a, 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 let's say, a grid system. And we've been asked to, to provide, to design only houses in, in, in these parcels. So we told the client, I mean, I couldn't feel relaxed when we are designing such houses in such environment. So why don't we create a story? Why don't we create a, some kind of a, to make it much more organic, much more suit the, the desert culture? How, how we make the there between the desert and the coastal line, in, in the, the sea line? It seems that client are too, uh, accepted. And uh, it ends up by having this as a result. So here is the, uh, let's say, the dream. And to make it alive, he indicated a water canal, which, which, uh, which uh, gives the sign of you can live there because there is water. And then through green, you try to identify the, the uh, um, let's say the um, neighborhood size. And then this becomes the final. This needs actually a whole lecture. I want to go through it, but I'll show, I'll show you how you make a story, uh, uh, the, the steps of how you, you develop such kind of concepts. Another work which we, I thought that we did it once, it was, it was the uh, competition for, for rebuilding the uh, southern seafront uh, in Lebanon, South Lebanon, which was destroyed to the uh, Israeli uh, Lebanese uh, crisis in 1980. So this are the, the uh, some of the city side. We tried to approach the kids. Uh, first of all, I did some photographs before, before because I'm a photographer, I, 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 in, the, in the time of the, the uh, using the, the uh, actual film, not, not the digital analog. So um, I did I did shots from my perception, and then we did uh, with the students of 10 years or 20 years a competition how to envision the city, and I was really stunned that this is what I do, this is what, what some kids do from memory. Uh, and again, this is the old fortress, and this is uh, one of the students, how he envisioned the city. Even the colors, I was, as if I, I was a kid, I mean, when I was putting these shots, some people told me, why, why you shoot these colors, I mean, this, uh, this uh, area. But look, the kids have put also the same, the blue, the blue, the red. So I was really happy that, that I could understand the kids, uh, feeling how they feel from inside. So please look at the kids. They give us the lesson how to think about our cities. It's very important. Yeah. Look, I mean uh, the ships. I like because I have some of my colleagues uh, accompany me. I told them, why are you putting taking shots of that problem? I like it. This gave me the memory of, of, of this uh, uh, ancient city. Or the windows. So I was amazed that how students give us the, the matrix of how we look to the street. Uh, so the idea was to uh, rebuild the seafront of that city. Uh, so this was the seafront here. And uh, we proposed actually, uh, uh, let's say, another, uh, let's say, frame to make this seafront, because it was fully destroyed to make it more lifeful. And then we, we proposed to the, to the, to the municipality to uh, not just to end up by just building this, uh, what they call it, seafront, to, create, to uh, penetrate the city and to create some kind of an active 
close to end up by, by the other edge where, where here the motor city will start and here the old city will, will stop. Uh, as if you are getting gates to the, to the sea. Uh, and the, 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 the whole scope extends to, to, uh, to, to take the whole old city, not just the sea from the bit. So this was actually my sketch about how we envisioned the, the sea from. It was uh, uh, built in the uh, Ottoman time, I mean, but it was destroyed during the crisis. In, uh, uh, so as here we can see part, part of the, the uh, development, but it was not done because it, it is too expensive. Uh, so they, they uh, just uh, stressed on, on, the, on the highway, how we can change the highway to become a pedestrian uh, domain. And this that was the only result of that condition, that this highway had to be, to be humanized so people can use it in the festival uh, and all kinds of... Uh, so this was, this was the time when we've been a bit dreaming, wanting to, just to give them something which... Uh, so these are part of the area where, where, where we give them guidance how to uh, reconstruct or renovate some of the open spaces. And this was actually after. I haven't got shots before, but this was after. And then after that, they asked us to develop the rural, the, the, uh, there was a green bank behind the city, how we can create this kind of uh, penetration and to start uh, building some, some uh, activities and functions, but this was not done. I mean, just was well, just in, in, in stages, I mean. Uh. Now, another work which I, I'm proud that, that we, we submitted, but it was also uh, not recognized, because we don't want to have a sty my style in the city. This is in Mecca, uh, Jabal Omar. I, I, don't, I don't think that you know about Jabal Omar is facing with the Holy Kaaba. So I, I studied this uh, mountain, uh, and then we tried to create uh, out of it a sense of, of communal, let's say, uh, uh, quartier. So because you, this uh, mountain will contain different nationalities from, from Somalia, Sudan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, so people live there. So. It, it, it's actually, I don't want to, to speak too much, but just look at, at the dialogue. I mean, how we try to find out uh, something. My wife, she, she took me, don't talk too much, so I will keep silent. Look to the image, maybe it took me some, something, you know, which I, I found very interesting. Uh, here is the old city of Mecca, and here what, 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 I, what, what I propose. Uh, so these lines are the hotels in great. You can hardly see the hotels where you stay only for one night and you can face the Kabla. And what, what in white, these are the small uh, middle apartments where you can sit there and it, it doesn't need to be a Kabla direction. So as if we are creating a story about how we keep this uh, city in. in uh, and we went through a different uh, typology of, of Mashabiyas and. and, and uh, Actually, I enjoy this work. It was published in my book. And many, many international firms, when, when they submit any proposal, sometimes they put captions of that, of that image, that they understand the merits of this kind of uh, approaches. So this actually, the, these are the hotels. You can hardly see them. And these are the apartments, the white one. So somebody told me that I'm giving Mecca a, a, a style. Why? Because this. The problem has to be given to uh, real estate development, and each one has to build its own building. So this is again the dilemma. Here we are, we are, we are uh, industrializing the city, not building up the city. Another work which is just opposite to it, a Shamia, is a huge mountain facing also Kata. This was our approach. We won it. It was a potential international competition. We won it, but after we won it, they decided to. to you can watch the whole mountain, so the, the idea becomes nonsense. So I want to show you the, the, the organic form of, of these uh, walkways. 
which remind me in some of the uh, Algerian villages. Uh, so you feel it's very human, very, very... Uh, in a uh, prophet mosque, uh, we've been asked to, to think about the concept. We have, we, so we tried to look to the mosque at Medina, and Medina as a mosque. So this become the whole mosque, not the big mosque which was proposed to have 900 meter long, 500 meter wide. So I, when I looked to the certain point, I compared to one of my father's work when I was asking him uh, how you how you fill this. Uh, he told me there must be kind, some kind of balance between the mass and the and the and the non mass. So it's it's a, it's a eye balance. I mean, there's no rules. You have to feel it. So this actually I put them together as, 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 to end up to end up my, my lecture. I mean I can talk speak more, but I start I, I try to make my, myself within a, a certain uh, time limit. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Badran, for a very captivating and informative presentation there, and much of what you have said is something we can learn from. Um, and I love the manual renders. I don't know how many of you were captivated by that as well. I'm thinking of literally going back on my water color markers and all. Um, we do have a very brief question answer session from Dr. Badran. Um, so let's keep it brief because we'll be breaking into a lunch um, after that. So uh, anyone who has a question for Dr. Badran? Sir, so you would like to come and yeah. have a seat? Uh, architect Ali Kazi, uh, it's not a question, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a comment and it's, it's a beautiful delight to what Nirma already has pointed out that the uh, form of the renovation and the, and, and the way you've uh, you know, uh, shown on your projects and the, the organic nature of it and the texture that comes out, uh, all of us from this part of the world so easily relate to it and the grid. Uh, that we see all of, across in the Western uh, world is you've, you've uh, put us in a very uh, you know obvious uh, you know, uh, you know, presentation of how it sort of uh, breaks away from the mystery from the uh, beautiful. So I just want to comment and I just want to thank you for doing this for us. It's really a pleasure to see all that. Thank you. Sir. Uh, it's, um, I'm Sanai Jaws. I'm an assistant, assistant professor at Home Sciences Longwell. Um, first of all, of course, it's a pleasure hearing you for the second time. Um, I have sort of two questions. Um, how do you find a balance? Also, because some of the projects that, or the proposals that you presented today, you said some of them were not accepted or didn't go through because of different reasons. For example, the one in Karachi. How do you find a balance between uh, this this world where developers are kind of ruling towards maximum financial gain in building projects and humanized um, urban uh, urbanism. So how do you find that balance in design? Well, I think it's not a balance, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fight actually. We have to, we have to balance uh, uh, the uh, uh, let's say the political politicians and national decision, the decision maker who have the, the power to decide how okay, you have a dream, you want to build it. You want you know you want to to uh, something meaningful. But how how you how you uh, transform this dream idea to actually to actual platform, this actually needs a uh, series of, 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 of let's say uh, managerial and, and also uh, ethical approaches about the city. And I think this is what we, we are doing in the, in the uh, UAE uh, uh, project which I showed to you. And, and uh, because I think even the, uh, those who are owning this kind of property, these are the amirs of, of uh, the chef of UAE, and they want something because they got fed up from, from what, what's happening in, 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 uh, in, in their cities. The uh, density, the high, the inhumane uh, environment. So they asked, they told me also we want to do something human. And I think this, uh, I hope that this is a big, a big start. Uh, in, um, 
process of design in digital and the process of design in manual and I have to say this because um, the images and the representations that you've shared with us are beautiful. Uh, not the digital ones, not that the digital ones are not beautiful but uh, well I seem to like them. Uh, but just for the younger sort of student of architecture um, who uh, I come across on a daily basis who has this dilemma of going digital and developing their design and sort of uh, creating from that or doing what perhaps their teacher, the system that their teacher is coming from which is more a manual representation yeah. and exactly how that ties up with what you said was the storytelling and narrative. How do you use this way of representation to tell a story? Well, I mean, I mean when, when I, I start, when I think about, about, about uh, um, uh, forming or shaping a fabric. I think it has to be to be between your brain and your hand. It's not not uh, it's not a digital matter. Uh, when you move to the digital, digital becomes the model making of that that hand hand uh, or brain hand human. Uh, uh, let's say um, uh, uh, okay, so, um, and this is the core of the whole process, you know, how, how you transform what you have in your mind on paper. It's not through, through computer, through your hand. And I think many schools in the West now, they are starting getting back to the hand as, as a base. Because, I mean, when you put a line, it's like, like the aeroplane or uh, uh, air corridors, lines, I mean, and you put it, it's nonsense. Uh, as you, some, some told us today that there is no difference between the artificial and the interior, both are integrated to each other. So I, I like the idea because even in Germany, when we learn uh, 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 in artificial school, the interior is, is the architecture and the out, the, the skin is, so both are in the same, uh, they are all interrelated. So that's why I, I found the digital can be seen just as a tool for modeling what you did before. I mean, not to start digitally. And I have to be, uh, frankly, I have to say it, that I witness many international firms who start putting the city as a digital concept without feeling about, about this kind of, of very human, very sensitive, and very, very emotional. Uh, because if you create a city with emotional fabric, the people are living in such a city become much different than, than people living in, 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 a, in a, in an industrial or oil, oil plant or oil fabric or I mean it's shame. I show you in, in Cairo how how part of Cairo it was, uh, city looked like 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 boxes. I mean uh, imagine how how kids would grow in such an environment. And I think for me you create this kind of hostility, 
to create this kind of violence in the community. Instead of, of saying that I, I'm building a, a community with gated community, why get it? Because I'm afraid from these poor who are really, who can interfere more. Try to, to give the poor this kind of dignity, like what I was trying to do in, in Cairo. So there's no need to, 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 uh, to start this, uh, this concept of, of gated community. So you have to, not to solve the result, you have to get in the core of the office. Why it's happening? And we are, we are part of it. So we are, we are accused that we, we, we create this virus in our, in our society. That's why my work is very few. I, I, I did, did uh, yeah, when you did, yeah, if you want to count how many books I did, it's very, very few in my life. But each one has, has, has to do with, with the human, uh, let's say, how you build up the human values. Like what I did, uh, did in, in the downtown Riyadh, which was awarded the African Award, and the other award, which was awarded the uh, American Award for Living in Kuwait, it was uh, a war. this is like Agakan. So, because people feel that I'm giving, uh, I'm giving them uh, a, a, a material uh, which can, they can live in it, they can feel it, they can, they can love it, not just to look to the city as a function city. So our body is our city. So why don't we talk to our body? Our, our. Yeah. That's very well said. Thank you. Um, one last comment or question before we wrap it up for our lunch. Uh, sir. Uh, sir, good evening. Um, sir, uh, the meaning of what you have done internationally and challenges that you have faced working with the democratic world and the monarchy world. And philosophy that you carry off your own the time. What is Rasim Badalam is to you when it comes to the architect? What is the force which drives you? And I think you definitely ask your wife to allow it to see the force. You know, uh, okay, I, 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 I told you something, maybe, maybe, um, you know, I am originally from Palestine, from Jerusalem, so I have, uh, uh, I have the, I am all honored to have the Jordanian passport, but I don't have the feeling that I have, let's uh, say, your own place where you've been, been. So, uh, I, I put a lot on, a lot of water on the island, and this person will give me a lot on. Water. So I try to create water through my work. I mean, uh, it's, it's a virtue water, it's an actual water. I create water for you and for me. I mean, this is what, what I try to do. And these are the values that uh, uh, this drive me to. to uh, that's why I lost many projects because I couldn't. I, couldn't uh, uh, I spent so much money, so much time, I lost because. I don't care for the fact that uh, what's been what's been mentioned in Stefan's statement. No, I, I want to, uh, and this is what we what we did actually in, in Abu Dhabi. Instead of having the contract was for six months, now we are in, uh, working one half year about it. Yeah, yeah. So every time the client becomes very 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 uh, let's say provoked, and, so, and he become more uh, have a lot of ambitions. I I give him. The, this kind of injection, how to be more ambitious, how to be... I'm happy that, that they, they are convinced about it because they want to get away from the dilemma they are now facing in, in, in the country. About the modern systems, the, the individual modern systems. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 I'm so indebted to you for having accepted our invitation when we were when we met in Egypt and, and Madame was there. And I think I was that you invited me because you know, I told you last time not to come to the time of that. I hope that our lovely colleagues are very much. Your, your being here is very much by design as Islamabad uh, uh, is slowly inching towards becoming, it is growing to be a 60 year old city, which is an infant in terms of uh, city age. But uh, in this infancy, uh, we are looking at a direction because uh, when Islamabad was designed um, and, and, and planned, uh, I think there was a lot of chaos in this order that we looked at uh, various cities and our cities grew exponentially beyond that point and we went in a different direction. Uh, despite it being linear, yet I think Dr. Salis looked at some kind of order, yeah. placing an order and yet there's a lot of 
if you look at the with, uh, look at the terrain and how the order is based on it, there is that uh, that interplay that you talk about. Uh, one has to understand it, and somehow uh, I I serve uh, uh, I've served on the last four or five sittings of the, uh, the master plan commission, courtesy uh, uh, of uh, President uh, of uh, Chairman PKP, uh, representative. Uh, uh, here and we've been talking about this and somehow they all talk about other issues and I tell them that uh, I think a little bit of loosening up needs to happen, a little bit of this needs to happen and, and I was hoping that Chairman CD was going to be here, he was called away somewhere else, but we're going to meet him Monday and I hope that uh, we can talk to him about the next stage of the master plan uh, being uh, some, something which making it more human and making it more humane. What it started out being and kind of got lost somewhere along the way uh, in the F10, F11 sectors. And then uh, uh, to, to find that humaneness that you find in the F6, G6, and all those sectors, which is the earlier sector of Islamabad, uh, in later Islamabad as we grow. Uh, I think that is, uh, we are hoping that you will uh, sit with us and, and kind of uh, discuss this, and, and, and with, you know, not just the chairman, but uh, the, the whole team that is sitting over here. Uh, look up to you for that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Um, so now I would now like to request the present and past presidents from the Institute of Architects Pakistan, architect Arif Chandiji Sahib, architect Bakari Khan Shah, and architect Hindi Sheikh of our cities. Can you join us upon the stage and uh, present Dr. Badran with a gesture of appreciation for the time and uh, effort that he's put here for us? Thank you, sir.